It's hard to get all this in one take, but here is the Solar Commander Mega Style in a secret off-grid location. So, let's look inside. Okay, okay, inside the container we have 64 golf cart batteries that are well beyond their life. And so, and we have five Outback Radians and six Sunny Boy 5,000 watt uh, AC coupled inverters. So today's mission is to get rid of the lead acid batteries and uh, replace them with big batteries, white rhino, lithium, iron phosphate batteries. So the task is first get rid of all the golf cart batteries, then open the big battery white rhinos and get them installed, get everything programmed and back up and running. So we can capture more of the beautiful sunshine that's already hitting uh, where we are located here. All right, let's get started. You're not in it, don't worry. No, you're not in. Buy old batteries, 10 years of good service. Too bad lead prices suck. Okay, we removed some of the vents, which we won't need anymore. There'll be no more acid mist. These lights are just laying up here. So I'm going to, and there's a balance they had put up here. I'm gonna detach the balance from these nice metal cabinets, which are gonna be repurposed for storage elsewhere. Anyway, I'm going to move this balance up to the bracing, move the lights up to the balance, and then that will be done. Then the cabinets can be freed. Plus I have to remove some PVC that goes between the cabinets and then, uh, then the cabinets can be moved. Okay, we're making progress. We're making lots of progress. Onward to the next step. Bling, sparkle, sparkle. Look at all those batteries. The inside of the container is now empty and I'm able to take these lights we're just laying on top of those battery boxes battery cabinets and I just mounted them valance style on the wall sort of okay and then um, I'm going to do some cable management with those AC wires for the lights sweep up the floor move the um, white rhino batteries in here there's gonna be four of them two on each little rolly cart and that'll get us two here and two there um, I didn't initially install this system, so I wouldn't have made some of the uh, implementation choices that were made here. But I did inherit this system, and I have made it work by programming everything correctly. And um, it, it does export power and does provide backup power. Uh, specified a generator. He had that installed. A giant generac. Also added or replaced. There was a, a different um, mini split in here, but it died because the acid mist ate through the uh, interior unit, evaporator or condenser. I always forget which one's which. You can tell I'm not an AC guy. But anyway, that was recently replaced and um, to get heating and cooling in this space so that the batteries can be happy. All right, let me get a broom, clean up this mess in the floor and then get those big batteries rolled in here. I think they're 600 pounds each. How do I get roped into these things? Oh well, we got diesel fuel to move them, so happy times. All right, here we go, next step. Diesel does the work. Lift them up, put them exactly right there on the lip. They should roll right off into the space. So, yes, no arms were harmed in the making of this video. Let's go. So thankful to have a nice John Deere to move these batteries. Here they are, rolled out and unwrapped. Big battery. These batteries are big. Uh, like four foot long or so, I'm not sure. And technically, oh, let me switch to a wide view. Yeah, technically we actually have two batteries. This is one white Rhino and this is another one and they're attached to this cart, uh, battery rolly cart with nice wheels. And so then there's two there. This will get connected to this home run going back. And then on this side, 
already opened it up and uh, opened this cover up. There's Anderson connectors at Anderson 175, SB 175. And so this will go plug, this will plug in here. Then I'll replace this cover. These cables will go up to some bus bars, which will be mounted, believe it or not, to a two by four, which I'll call the chair, chair rail, a two by four mounted to this container to make a chair rail at the same height as the battery. And then I'll take this apart. This is what came with big battery. I have another set of a different style, but similar concept. I'll mount that to the two by four. These cables will come down nicely loop, get cut to length, re re-lugged with new lugs these lugs were exposed to acid so they're they may be wet inside i'm not sure anyway redo them so then our home run for these two batteries will be set now i believe the plan in the future is to get four more of these and so this cart will roll up against the wall the next two will roll right against here uh, and then the anderson connector will reach to the bus bar so big picture planning ahead i'll plan on enough bus bar enough of these bus bars to catch everything all right get that chair rail installed and get on with the next step okay it's getting serious <laughs> not really uh, i got the lug box out and i cut these four aught coppers to length i'm gonna curl around to the bus bar like this oh why am i showing you this one I already finished this one over here. It's gonna be easier to understand. Okay, I'm out of the bus bars. This negative cable will curl around and go thusly. Then the Anderson cables, well, which I'll show you over there, will um, come around and go to the bus bars. And this positive cable will likewise come around and go to the bus bar, like this. Just stay for the video, silly rabbit. It says, no, I'm not staying. Okay, there we go. Yes, like this, the covers go on, the Anderson cables come out. You can see the Anderson cables on this side. Anderson cable comes out, goes up to the bus bar, all connects in parallel. All right, let me just get this done. Then you'll see what it looks like. Okay, oddly enough, there was a classic with about 2000 watts of power directly wired to the golf cart batteries. So I've temporarily added some overcurrent protection. This all will kind of get cleaned up but not today. You see I have the Anderson connectors waiting. I'm gonna check all the battery voltages, all four of them, to make sure they're all the same. I believe this one was 52.1, but anyway, wake up the displays, which was, looks really nice on this big battery. Plug them all in, then activate the uh, grid on the outbacks to get the battery charging to start. And then that will be a wrap, plus about an hour of cleaning up all the loose ends laying around here. All right, signing off, hold on. It's gonna happen right now. Okay, I really like this little tiny computer display. It even has the touch screen. I can touch status here, figure out how many amp hours are left, get the advanced screen where I see the voltages of, of each battery cell inside this 16S configuration. And then main, uh, I can actually do, uh, let's see, where did I touch this? Let me find where I touched it. Uh, oh yeah, power button again. I can actually turn the, discharging circuit on and the charging circuit on or off. So discharging off means the battery goes off and there's no voltage here. So that's kind of nice. Okay, all the voltages are close enough together. So I'm gonna plug them in and get started charging. Okay, doing a big load test. I think it's 11 kilowatts. We're taking 70 amps out of that one, 60 amps out of that one. 60 out of that one and 62 out of that one. They're all different percentages of charge right now because we haven't finished the full cycle of charging. And then the mate, which I took off the wall here, is, um, let's see what we're doing there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 12.3 kilowatts. That's a pretty good size load for such a size battery as this. I have the generator turned off so we won't start under this load. So a bit more programming and we'll be back on track okay now let me go to the out uh, the uh, big battery website and look at some basic settings 
so I can record them. Here we go, right here, right here. And then I can uh, calculate these into settings for the Outback Radian to make a working system. I have to edit all five of the radians, but this is what we'll do next. Okay, we got that resolved. We got a little bit of a voltage drop with this long wire run and the way that's bust in. Someday I'll make that correction too. So here we are. Okay, we've got back and that's working. All right, here we go. Bling, sparkle, sparkle. Oh, I forgot the propane tank. All right, so finished. Big batteries are installed. Uh, it's great. Uh, we got the lights up there. That's not too obnoxious. And classics back up. Bus bars. I need to install those covers. Uh, that's the last cleanup item. I see that. Two big batteries. Actually, four big white Rhino big battery batteries. They are big. This is like four foot wide here. All right, great. Got some parallel cables. Those covers won't go back on, so I'm gonna actually replace those bus bars that came with the batteries with the ones that match this style where I can put covers on them. And then the Outbacks are happy. They're charging now. Uh, the Sunny Boys, this is an AC coupled system, so the Sunny Boys are on. We'll probably sneak out here with all this. Here we go. The Sunny Boys are mounted on the outside here, outside of the container under this uh, roof. The container is sitting under a carport, I guess. And so there are the six Sunny Boys. And then these Sunny Boys are connected to uh, six arrays. So, yes, this is a real nice system. It's a ginormous solar commander. There's a pile of trash that needs to be picked up. Get on that, somebody. I mean, that's me. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap for the day. Thanks for watching and big batteries. You know, I'm going to say it next. I like big batteries and I cannot lie. I had a good time today. See y'all later.